This is for Retro Chad. It's a reply to his uh, Homo Light generator that he picked up. I bought this in about 1992, right after the famous 1991 ice storm. It takes a 16 to 1 mix. I think it's almost the same model generator. That's a hopefully soon to be restored, maybe next year. It's like a Lakewood P23. Actually, I would call it the K223 because it's Kmart. Fan I just found in the garbage last week. This was a Churchville Fire Department generator. And my stepfather was in the fire department and he remembered this machine when he was younger. This appears to be a model 35A 11.5-1, 13.1 amps at 115 volts, 60 cycles. Serial number 8.06758. Maybe that means 1958. It's two cycle. Mix thoroughly one and a half pint SE30 oil with each gallon of gasoline before pouring into tank. 16 parts gasoline to one part oil, which is 16 to 1. So presumably yours is probably two cycle as well. It has this thing that drains the crankcase. I almost think it's for if the crankcase gets flooded with oil or for half compression for starting up. I added this box years ago with a normal outlet and a fuse to protect the generator and I had replaced the brushes even though they worked. Other than that, the thing works fine. The only thing I hate about this is starting, especially when it's sat for a long, long time because of the leaky float, takes forever to reprime. So I'm going to try to start it up again live. time. Pull the choke all the way forward. That's why I have to immediately turn off the fuel. Runs beautiful, puts out 13 amps, handles a Makita circular saw. It's not for sale. Oops, shouldn't have done that on camera. Like I said, I just picked this guy up. The only reason they threw it out is because the cord was ripped out of it. It must have tripped. But you get this thing running retro chat, it'll be a great machine. I had to make my own air filter element because the air filter element's not available for this anymore because of its age. And 
I saw another one of these for sale that was from another fire department that was painted red and white. This one was painted green when I got it, so I repainted it. The dent in the gas tank's original. This box is original with the standard twist locks that most generators have. And then I added the box with the fuse so that if something would short out, it wouldn't ruin the generator. And that's all there really is to do it. It's a great sounding machine. It runs nice, a little tricky to get started, and it runs best under load. If there's no electrical load on it, it sputters. As soon as there's a load on it, a sump pump, a fan, or a circular saw or something, it runs perfect. So I may just use it with a light bulb plugged into it when running it with tools just to give it something to keep it stabilized for its regulator. But that's your 1950s or early 60s two cycle Homolite 16 to 1 fuel uh, power plant.